Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review, and uh, it's a film that was on TV the other night, and I thought I'd uh, watch it and give it a quick review. That film in question is Predators. Predators is a 2010 film that stars Adrian Brody. As I'm sure you guessed by now, Predators is, you know, the Predator. It is the ugliest thing that nobody knows where it comes from. It's infrared, it's cloaking device, it's hood and dagger sort of stuff. It's got dreadlocks and it's got a big mouth like a spider, sort of. Oh, opens up. That is uh, the Predator that I'm talking about, and it's from the film, obviously, that I've said in 2010. So it's a pretty recent-ish, latest version of the Predator franchise film. I have mentioned that the film stars Adrian Brody. The film's also got Topper Grace, strangely spelt name, Alice Braga, Walton Goggins, and you've got Lawrence Fishbourne. You've also got Oleg Tatarov, and Machete himself, Danny Trejo. So, Predators uh, starts off with Adrian Brody, who's the main character, falling out of the sky. You see him in mid midair, you don't know what's dropped him off. Either way, the guy is plummeting to earth from the sky. And he's twisting and turning, and eventually he opens his parachute. And he hits the ground with a right bang. Suddenly there are other people dropping around, uh, parachutes are open, parachutes are not open. This is where Adrian Brody and the rest of the cast uh, meet up and discover one another. Each member of, uh, of the cast, of the team, that have crash landed on this planet are from special forces, military, uh, SAS, you've got uh, security detail and then for some reason you've got a doctor he's the one person who stands out the one person who shouldn't really be on there seeing as how you've got military and special combat forces and uh, people who have a high skill of killing people for their own government and militia they all seem to be on this one planet because of who and what they do apart from this one doctor and there's a twist with that. It is discovered slightly later on, it's not really a spoiler, that this planet that they're on is not Earth. This planet is a planet and it is a game reserve as Adrian Brody mentions during the film. They discover that it is not Earth by discovering that there are several different moons or planets that are up in the sky. Also they discover that the Sun has not set at all during their duration to a certain point of the film while they've been on this planet. So that's another one that discovers that this planet has long duration of days. Adrian Brody is not the sort of character that I watch on a regular basis in any sort of film that he does. Really the last film that I saw Adrian Brody in was probably The Pianist probably over a decade ago. Now The Pianist I'm sure you could probably guess is about a man playing a piano and uh, this man plays a piano in a wartime sort of era. I can't remember if I've ever seen him in any other film apart from The Pianist. And then uh, I watched The Predator. I'm a fan of all them. You know, aliens, predators. I'm a fan of them. And uh, there's a point where Adrian Brody takes his shirt off and it's like, you're a, you're a pianist and now you've got a massive gun. You're ripped and you're shooting up uh, predators. Bit random, bit different. You don't expect to see a pianist, a guy who can play a piano, with a sort of shotgun made out of high-end plastic material fighting it, predators on a alien planet of some sort. But it kind of goes. Adrian Brody puts his best uh, Christian Bale voice on, gets a shotgun of some sort of description and uh, yeah, starts blowing shit up. And it kind of works. But I think it's because you don't expect Adrian Brody to carry around a shotgun. And I don't think I've ever seen him in a film where he uses a shotgun. So that's good. I came for the Predators. And I enjoyed it because Adrian Brody was the good guy. Shooting at Predators with a shotgun. So it was kind of enjoyable. But it is an action packed film with Predators on a distant, strange, unnamed planet. Predators is, from what I can gather, a sequel. A sequel to the Predator film in 1987, probably a sequel to Predators 2 in 1990. I got to this conclusion because the female lead, Alice Braga, mentions that there was an attack 
of an unknown creature in 1987 that 1987 in Guatemala which is where the first film was made or set even a spec ops team led by Arnold Schwarzenegger which I'm sure you all know of um, his team was pretty much picked off one by one and killed well there is a scene in the film that gives me this conclusion that Predators in 2010 is a sequel to Predator in 1987 simply by this one line of how she describes an unknown alien sort of life form killing and destroying a spec ops team back in 1987 however the main character does not look that old she's just 30 years old which means that she would have been a pretty much a child when the attack in 1987 occurred fair enough if she's her own band of special forces she does talk with a Spanish sort of accent she's not from England I do predict that she's from South America sort of area however she is young of age if she was born in 1987 then uh, she would only just have been born of when the attack happened if this is the case this would mean that she had grown up on ghost stories old wives tales of how a spec ops team got destroyed by some sort of alien creature with a description as to what Arnold Schwarzenegger gave and that's pretty much what led me to believe Predators from 2010 is a sequel to the 1987 film The Predator but that's my guessing you know I know that Predators is a uh, third instalment of the franchise but really Predators it is a very enjoyable film. Adrian Brody is a surprise cast, but he is cast very well. Every other cast member is uh, pretty good. There are a few recognisable faces. Lawrence Fishbourne, I don't think they should have cast him in all honesty. He plays a bit of a crackhead, a bit of a nut job. He's got a friend on there who uh, is imaginary, only you can see him and speak to him. But in a way I don't think there was any need for Lawrence Fishbourne's character to exist in the film. Maybe if it was done by another character. Lawrence Fishbourne, I mean, he's up here since he did uh, Morpheus in The Matrix. You know, but he hasn't seemed to get a decent role to keep him on that plateau. But I don't think he should have been in this film. Fair enough, there's a nut job character in the film. Fair enough, not a problem with that. Just don't cast it as Lawrence Fishbourne. He's a good actor. Don't put him in a bit part in a film that's alright and meant to go on in a massive franchise. But hey, I enjoyed The Predators. If you like The Predators franchise, everything that Danny Glover did, everything that Arnold Schwarzenegger did for the films, uh, then this one is for you. If you like Adrian Brody and want to see him in an action film, rather than tickling some ivy, then this one's for you. Danny Trejo fans, you know, you'll like it as well. He's only in it for a bit. But uh, yeah, Predators, it's a very enjoyable film. If you like The Predator films, you'll like this. Anything that uh, Robert Rodriguez has done, I mean, he's the guy who's had uh, a number of good films over the years. He, he produced this, so you might be a fan of his work, then you'll enjoy this. Well, yeah, Predators. I like Aliens. I like Predators. This is the latest one, really, in the franchise, so uh, I thought I'd give it a go when it was on TV the other night. I thought I'd record it and uh, give a review for you guys. But thanks for watching my review of Predators. Hope you enjoyed it. We the Devoted, don't forget, links are down below. Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear. Links down below as per usual. But, thank you for watching my review of Predators, the film that I recorded off the TV the other night. I thought I'd give it a view. I hope you like it, guys. Thanks for watching.